Okay, first open up Streamlabs, go to settings, go to output, go to recording, and set this to advanced. Then check audio tracks 1 and 2, don't mind this, this is just my Discord track. Also, I like to put my recording format as MKV over MP4 because for MKV, if my PC crashes and if I'm recording, then my recording crashes up to that point, not the whole thing. If it's MP4, if, it, if your PC crashes, then the whole recording goes bye bye. So, yeah. Okay, next thing you want to do, close that out, go here, mixer, open that up, and uncheck any boxes, uncheck any of them. And for the microphone track, just check number one, and for the desktop audio track, just check number two. So after you've checked those two boxes, close this out, record something with audio, with your game audio and mic audio together, and then once you're done recording, open up that video. I have a test video I recorded, so hear this. What is up guys, it's your boy, Xerath back with another video, but you cannot hear me because of the Odin in the background. Oh my goodness. So for this video, you actually couldn't hear the Odin because you're only hearing my mic audio track. So what you have to do is, uh, oops, you have to click play for it to appear. Click audio, click, um, click track, and then you can see all your tracks here in VLC media player. It might be different for like other media players, but for a VLC, if you go to track, you'll see your desktop and microphone. I don't know why. My desktop audio is labeled as microphone, but oh well. Uh, so this is microphone, and then this is my desktop. So if I switch and play it back. It's only the Odin in the background, or the Odin for the audio. So that's how you know if the audio tracks were correctly separated. Okay, once you're done checking your tracks, you want to open up OBS Studio, that's right, you have to download OBS Studio because this feature isn't in Streamlabs OBS, so open up OBS Studio, go to the top left, and click on File, then click on Vmux Recordings. This is so you can make an MKV file into an MP4 file for DaVinci Resolve. So click this, the little three dots, open it up, and then go to OBS Videos, and then click your video. And then click this and then set it to any folder you want. So you could set it to on um, desktop, but I like putting it in another folder like that. And then save. Oops, okay, I already converted it, but you should do that. Save, cancel, bam, and then click remux. It's gonna remux, then it's gonna go to that folder. Okay, next thing you wanna do is open up DaVinci Resolve or any editing software you want. So let me just wait till this loads. Okay, it is done loading now. Um, just create a new project, new project, bam. Um, audio test, bam, create. This should open up, go to media, go to your folder with the videos, click on, um, you know, go to the folder, and where is it still loading? Drag it in, and change. The reason you don't want MKV files for DaVinci Resolve is that for MKV files, it doesn't even show up, so you have to convert it to MP4 files. Because DaVinci Resolve doesn't support MKV files, which is cancer, but who cares. Okay, now that we've put this video in the media pool, go to edit, click this, bam, create new timeline, and or you could drag it in, bam, create, and it should appear in a second. One, two, three, four, five, bam. Okay, and as you can see, there is audio one, audio two, and this is my Discord track because I use voice meter, which is this thing, where is it? Bam, but who cares? You don't want to know this, or do you? If there's nothing in Discord, just, you know, delete it. Delete track, bam. Okay, so, ooh, so if we play this video, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Xerath, back with another. That is too loud for the Odin to be doing that much noise, which is horrible. So now that we have two separate audio tracks, you can edit it whenever you want. And if you want to click on a separate track, 
then click this link selection or hit Control shift l and then if you see this just click boom not selected then click one audio track so since we put microphone as um track one this should be microphone this should be your mic so if you mute this what is up guys it's your boy yeah that's lucky but who cares so click that inspector you can do some stuff if you want bam low volume Ooh. Um, semitones, but that high, you know, I want that high pitch stuff. Then here, inspector, oops, inspector, you can edit it, make that a little louder. And that's, uh, who cares? And I want a low voice, a low one. So, I'll just do this, who cares? Maybe this, put some bass, you know. I don't know what I'm doing, and if you listen to this, watch this. <laughs> And that's how you do all this stuff. And yeah, hope you like the video. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit the follow button, hit that notification bell. Follow my mixer at mixer.com. And thank you for watching my video. Peace out.